Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are still fighting the Galactic Entente, and they have moved a lot of ships over into this region over here. They have a 200k Synthoid Link fleet here. Now remember, the Synthoid Link cannot really replace their ships. They've got another 88k fleet here, 100k, 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 and then over here they've got about another 300k? Something like that. So this is where the bulk of their fleet is currently concentrated. Now they do have another large group up here, or they did. Uh, yeah, it's reasonably large. This is the primary Synthoid Link fleet up here, and it looks like... The fleets that were over here have left and are now congregated over here. So we have two primary areas where we need to eliminate fleets. And to that end, we're going to have the Lentipath Fragments remain where they are. And the Baronel are currently over here, so they're going to respond to this. The Gontrite, they can come over this way, but it's going to take them a while to get there, even if we jump drive. We can jump drive to, Fur to Furud, and then after that, we can bring them down over here. But we're going to have to wait on the jump drive cooldown before they can really fight, and we're going to have to reinforce them anyway. The Operunia shards are deep in enemy territory right now. So I think our best bet here would be to push them down this way, and then come back to this gateway over here. So they'll come down just like that, and then backtrack to here. It'll take them certainly some time to get that done. I want to eliminate this fleet over here. I'm actually a little less worried about this one, because it's got a long ways to go before it really threatens our core territory. And it's got a lot of stations to go through. So, of course, in the meantime, we are reinforcing the Lentipaz Fragments, and the 8th Fleet, I think we will go ahead and bring up over this way to back up the Lentipaz Fragments. They're still being reinforced, but that will be okay. And we're definitely going to need more forces over here. Like, we're going to need probably at least two more fleets, but we're going to have some freeing up relatively soon. Sakurin are in combat over here. That's no problem. Okay. The Baronel Fragments are, of course, just chilling here. And that's fine. We're completely comfortable with this. Energy Weapon Attack Speed. We will go ahead and grab Energy Weapon Damage next. That brings our Fleet Cap power up a little bit. And I'm just wondering what exactly these guys are planning to do here. Looks like they're just bombarding. That's okay. I'll allow that. The Gontrite Fragments are ready to be reinforced. And then we are going to slowly bring them over to Ejok, since they just jump drived. Throndrite Shards are back at this position here. We're still chasing over here. I think we will bring the Throndrite Shards over to Ejok. Excellent. Sakurin Shards are going to push up over this way, clear out this area, and then they'll be at a gateway. So that'll be just fine. And yeah, we're, we're just going to allow these guys to bleed themselves a little bit while we deal with some of the other fleets that are around. Kinetic weapon attack speed is fine. We will go ahead and go for defense platform hull points next. Aparunia shards are in combat. That is expected. Baronel fragments are good to go almost. When are they going to be out of their jump drive cooldown? 40 days. These guys are are 18 days. They're moving more fleets into here. Like, if we're gonna fight this, 
it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna need to bring in more fleets, for sure. And the month tick is happening. There we go. Okay, month tick is done. The Trentite Fragments are currently here. We're gonna need to continue chasing this little fleet, though, with them. Saccharine Shards are cleaning up over there. Baronel Fragments. We're gonna go ahead and start them moving over to here. They are currently good to go, except for their uh, jump drive. Throndrite Shards, we're gonna move them to Volmar as well. Caruntine Fragments, we're gonna move them to Zeldra. And are they in a position to get reinforcements? They kind of aren't. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, this is a small fleet over here. We're actually going to need to deal with that. Uh, we just jumped straight through over here. Let's actually send the Throndrite Shards, since they are not currently jump drive inhibited. Let's send them up over here to see if we can't deal with this real quick. I would prefer to deal with that before we fight these guys, if I get the opportunity. Saccharine Shards are over here, and they will be pushing through here. Excellent. Just keep in mind, because we occupy so many of their stations, they can't really replace a lot of our... Uh, a, lot, a lot of the losses that they take. I'll grab Admin Cap next. And the Gontrite Fragments are currently here. And we'll go ahead and move them here. I believe the Gontrite Fragments are still FTL inhibited for a little... Well, they're recharging their jump drives for a little bit yet. So we'll have to deal with that. And the idea here is we'll just push down over here. The Operunia Shards are in combat. That is expected. As soon as the month tick happens here. There we go. Okay. Quarantine. They are in position over here. This is a not huge army coming in. Are actually going out. Actually, both. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Quarantine, Lentipaz. Yep, those are both exactly where they're supposed to be. Eighth Fleet is reinforcing over there. Okay. They're jumping in more ships over here. So this is where they're trying to punch out. For sure, but they're going to have a hard time with it. The Operunia Shards are, of course, heading over this way. We're FTL inhibited. Okay. We're just going to jump drive out. We need to get more ships over here. Let's see, that's the Trentite Fragments over here. We've finally caught this fleet, so that is great. We shouldn't have any problem taking this out. At least after the month tick. There we go. And we'll just finish up this station. Excellent. How long will it take to manually fly over to here? 185 days. That is actually less time than it takes for the jump drive to recharge. So we will go ahead and do that and also reinforce the fleet on the way. Fantastic. Lentipaz Fragments, I really want to start pushing with them, but we're just not ready. Baronel are in position, Sakurin are... over here. Right. We'll grab this and then backtrack over to here. Gontrite are in position, and Operunia are ready to be jumped over. We're going to go ahead and start reinforcing them and bring them right on in. Excellent. So how many fleets do we have here currently? We have two. This is going to be three, four fleets. Is four fleets going to be enough? I hope so. 
But we're also going to have the Throndrite shards in soon enough. And we've actually missed this force here. Which is unfortunate. That's okay. We'll just bring the Throndrite shards back over here. Because we need to deal with this. So that'll be five total fleets. And let's just pause the game quickly here. I want to take stock of our fleet dispositions. Okay, the Lentipaz are in position up here. Pisidian are moving over this way currently. They're going to push over like so. And I think we can make them responsible for dealing with this. So they'll push up like this and then come like that. Baronel Fragments are in position for the fight. Saccharine Shards are still a little bit away. Trentite Fragments are still 133 days away as well. The Corentine Fragments are in position. The 8th Fleet is reinforcing and holding this line. We're allowing a lot of this to get taken back. We can go grab that after this big battle. And the Gontrite Fragments are in position, and the Operunia Shards are almost in position. Okay. So we are mostly just waiting on a couple of fleets. Two fleets. This here is... How, how strong are they here? They're still very, very strong here. Okay. Good to know. Throndrite Shards are jumping right on over. And who is it that we're waiting on? I believe the... Yeah, we're waiting on the Trentite 114 days. And the Sakurine are going to be able to leave momentarily. Just need to finish off those science ships. And then hit Alpha Hydri. Probably Sterope as well. Okay, get down here. Physidian Shards are pushing over this way. As well they should. Our reinforcements are, in theory, coming in. It seems that we're building a bunch of titans, and actually we just finished them. So that was a big part of why it was going so slowly. So that's perfectly fine. Just waiting on the month tick here. Excellent. Trentite are 72 days away. Sakurine shards are going to be fighting over here soon. Yep, that is expected that we're going to lose a couple of those. We will get those back. These wars of attrition are ones that we can win, despite what the uh, war score might say. I disagree with the war score. So we're going to do something like that. With the Sakurine shards. Throndrite are in position. Lentipaz are in position. Month Tick is in position. <laughs> Come on, Month Tick. One of these days. There we go. Presidian shards can push over this way. They can take that, right? Yeah, they can take that. Excellent. We just lost our production targets edict, which we're definitely going to want to re-up. I'm not going to bother with capacity overload, though. Defense platform hull points is fine. We'll grab minerals from jobs next. Excellent. Baronel fragments are in position. Sakurine shards are still a little ways away from Sterope. Trentite are almost in position. Corentine are in position. Eighth Fleet is in position. Gontrite and Operunia are in position. They are leaving. That's a go signal. We're going. They just took a significant portion of their fleet out of here. 
This is all Pelsimius League fleets. Okay. Good to know. Synthoid Link fleets, or rather the one Synthoid Link fleet, is still here. Okay. Yep, we're going. Here we come. Three-pronged attack. Let's do this. Okay, the Lentipaz Fragments are there. Yep, the Eighth Fleet. And these, this Titan, we're going to have to sort in this Titan after this. I'm not sure where this Titan belongs. This is going to be a huge mess. Actually, the Titan can come down over this way. We know it belongs somewhere here. So it can help out with this battle. Also, we haven't checked in on our armies in a while, have we? We should probably do that. I'm going to go ahead and group these up. And this army over here. That we're still partly occupying. We should land here. And I believe that will be full occupation. And that'll happen instantly. Excellent. Okay. Let's observe this battle. Now that we've got that... Actually, we don't have it under control. This army over here isn't doing anything. We're only partly occupying here, so we need to go ahead and land on Technus. We'll also group all these together, and we will put in a new general. There we go. Excellent. There's no armies on Technus, so that's completely fine. Now we should be able to observe this battle. And it looks like we already have it well under control. Oh yeah. Fantastic. That's great. Okay. Now, we need to figure out what fleet this Titan belongs to. So... Let's go through here and look for one that is missing a Titan, like the 8th Fleet. But the 8th Fleet, I believe, already has a Titan because it wasn't in this battle. Um, let's see here. Residian Shards, perhaps? But no, probably the... No, it wouldn't be the Lentipass, either. Wait, every fleet down here has a Titan? Then who did that belong to? Titan, 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 Titan. Irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. So every fleet that's here has a Titan. Okay, so let's check the 8th Fleet and the Lentipaz Fragments then. There's a Titan being built for the Lentipaz Fragments, so it doesn't belong there. There's one being built for the 8th Fleet as well. So the Frisidian Shards? But they shouldn't be being reinforced. That's the only fleet it could possibly belong to. Yep, it has to be the Frisidian Shards. So we'll take them over here, and we'll take this guy over to group in with them. That has to be where it goes. Well, we did manage to take this territory back. So that's super nice. We'll let that month tick happen. And at this point, the Throndrite Shards are going to need reinforcement. The Lentipaz are getting their reinforcements still. The Frisidian are going to get some reinforcements in a bit here, but they're not quite there yet. Actually, I've changed my mind. We're not going to reinforce the Throndrite Shards yet. We're going to cancel all of that. And we are going to take every fleet that is here, and we are going to push into Cursa. I want this completely gone. 
Enemy planet secure. Okay, so we do have some areas over here that are secured. This is now fully occupied by us. So we need to come down over here and we will group together with these fleets here. And we are just going to come to Prismus and land. Fantastic. And then this transport fleet over here can probably be responsible for taking back some territory. Now, as far as this one over here goes, this is still partly occupied, so we still need to hit Terminix. And over here as well. But that's fine. Okay, so we are moving over here in force. And we're trying to catch these these fleets here. That's the goal. We got the station. Sadly, it looks like... Oh, we did get the fleets, I think. Yep, we definitely did. So, this battle is happening. Luckily, they split in half, so this is going to be far easier than it was originally going to be. We're still going to take losses. There's no doubt about that. But that's fine. We can afford to reinforce them. We're not re researching a physics tech, and we should probably be doing that. Realistically, I think the one we want to go for here is Applied Superconductivity. And I'm also going to go ahead and hop into the market here and buy in a few Volatile Motes. Not quite enough, unfortunately, but a few. There we go. That station is gone. We were able to take out the station first, which is a very big deal. And we shouldn't have any problem dealing with these fleets. We will take some losses. That's unavoidable. But they will take more losses. Oh yeah, we've got this so under control. Okay, the Throndrite Shards are in desperate need of reinforcement right now. So we're going to send them back and start reinforcing the Throndrite Shards. Everyone else here, I think, is still doing reasonably. Uh, maybe we should pull back the Trentite Fragments as well and reinforce them. But our other four fleets here are doing well. So we will take these four fleets, these four fleets and push into Cursa. There we go. Now the Frisidian Shards are currently located here, and we will give them their Titan. Excellent. And then the Frisidians can start pushing over this way, in theory. Or we could send them up to go deal with this, and I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. There we go. So we are going to need to take back some of these territories. We're waiting on the month tick to do that. There we go. Okay, so this over here, we're now fully occupying. So that means that we can take this transport fleet directly over here and start taking back some of this territory, which will be absolutely great. We'll also bring in these transport fleets to group together. We'll just bring them both over here for now. Then we have this partly occupied still. We still need to hit this area over here. And then we need to attack over here. And I think we want to hit the FTL inhibitor first, which would be the Pagranin colony. Okay, sounds good. The 8th Fleet is nearly fully reinforced. We are, of course, hitting their strong point over here. Excellent. And we want to neutralize this gateway. That's kind of our objective with hitting this, which means we need to take Cursa 3. And we need to do it relatively soon. 709 strength, so that's not too bad. 
Let's see, you're still 42 days away. That's fine. That's completely fine. But hey, we are now ahead in the war exhaustion for the first time. This entire war, I believe, they have taken back this area. Interesting. That's okay. Not too concerned about it. But for right now, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will begin the proper mopping up action and put an end to this war. Like, they're actually willing to status quo settle right now, which means that we need to take back these systems and planets that they currently occupy, at which point we will be basically ready to status quo settle. Alternately, we could achieve our war goals, but that's a ways away. We'll have to take a look at it in the next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.